Hi guys, what's up? It's Zombie Pro 435 And uh, before this video starts I just want to tell you guys that this is just in my opinion um, What I believe is the, the maps, best maps And so with that said, let's get right into the video So coming in at our number 5 spot, Shadow's Evil Now, don't get me wrong, Shadow's Evil is a great map but not so many people actually play it as often as we used to. Um, the thing about shadows is that the rituals take quite a long time to do. And uh, getting set up, again, takes quite a long time. But once you're set up, set up, you're, you're good to go. The map really, really turns out to be amazing. And that's why it comes at a number five spot. Coming at number 4 spot, it's Garak Rory. Now Garak Rory is an awesome map. I love it. It came with PPSH. That was requested by many of us. And I'm so thankful that it's back. And we also have the Rega Mark 3. And when upgrade just becomes OP, it really does. It's so helpful to get to these high rounds in this map. It's, it's, it's difficult to get such a high round. I believe my highest, my highest round in this map is 51. Um, I just I died by, by a horrible reason. But back to back to this. Uh, uh, Girl Kobe, I love it. Such a, such a unique map itself. I love the fact that that there's so much to do in this map. The Easter egg is difficult, which I love. Um, so that's why it comes at a number 4 spot. So coming at a number 3 spot, it's the Giant. I know, I know, there's going to be some haters out there, but just hear me. I don't know, I don't have much to say about the Giant. Um, I just love this map. I just played so much back in the day. World at War. This 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 map is just it's legit. It's awesome. And uh I don't know. The thing I just love is that they didn't change anything up like like add some uh I don't know, it's it's the same, it's the same. Like back in the day, it's the same. Nothing changed. This is giant. It's an awesome map that I just loved and uh just decided to add it to our number three spot. So coming at our number 2 spot is Revelations. The fact that you can upgrade this Apothean Servant just makes the map even better. Um, the Family Plan was also introduced. I really didn't expect that to be introduced since, I mean, they did tease it a bit. But again, Trev really trolls us a bit too much. I don't know. Um, the Easter Egg wasn't, wasn't great. I mean, it was easy. I don't know, I just really didn't, didn't really like it. Um, the I mean, cutscene was, I don't know, it didn't satisfy me. Um, but again, awesome map, and so that's why it comes at our number two spot. So, coming at our number one spot, my friends, it is, in fact, the Rising Drac. Now, the Rising Drac, I love it, I really do. And uh, again, um, the map, I didn't really expect them to, first map to uh, introduce like four wonder weapons. Um, the map is pretty easy since we have these bows and they really do remind me of the staffs back in Origins. And uh, the fact that each player can choose their bow and have, like, have their own quest is just amazing. And uh, so, uh, you can train anywhere, like, you can camp with these bows, train, um, whatever you decide, you can get to a really high round this map. Um, I don't know, I just like, I love this map so much, and uh, I just love it, I don't know. And so that's why it comes at a number one spot. So that's going to wrap up the top five. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, 
It was uh, a bit hard choosing which maps. I decided to uh, to uh, put a number one spot. Or, I don't know. Again, I, I'm I'm trying. I really am. I really am trying to do my best to make these top fives for you guys. But if you guys want would want to see me do another top five, even better than this one. Um, top five guns, anything like that. Um, I will, and uh, along with GTA and Until Dawn, I'll be still uploading Till Dawn if you guys want to, but with that said, I'll see you soon, my amigos.